Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever living boo boo tearless stain off of that subscribe button so we can climb even higher the 1200 ladder. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I want to talk about the decks that are going to be good post Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge because Monsters Revenge, I would say, is the prelude to Duelist Nexus before we see Synchro decks kind of, at least potentially, take over the format with the brand new like Synchron, Synchro, Crimson Dragon support stuff out of Duelist Nexus because we also are getting that new coder, synchro monster, synchron thing in Monsters Revenge. I always forget the name of it. So I feel like it's worth talking about where decks are going to be placed moving forward until we get a new ban list, probably at some point like August or September, if I'm being honest, unless Konami just wants to drop all of our pants and bring out a ban list a month, month and a half after this new synchron stuff comes out in Duelist Nexus. So do prepare your holes for that. Um, let's go ahead and jump on into this here. We've got tier one, tier two, rogue, and of course, booty, booty, butt cheeks. We don't do no tier 1.5 up on our tier list because to me it's like if it's 1.5 you could argue it could be in two or in one you just might as well pick one or two instead of being indecisive and our patented booty booty butt cheek category i put butt cheeks with an s instead of just singular because you know everybody has two cheeks we, we like to be all inclusive here starting off with a super heavy samurai this is in booty booty butt cheeks now <laughs> so it's amazing to me that just last format, this deck was tier one, and now it's dropped all the way to the booty, booty, ass cheeks section because of one card getting banned in the form of their Link Monster. Look, this deck is fucking garbage now. I don't care what anybody says. It auto loses to Droll, even though not a lot of decks are playing Droll anymore because Super Heavy Samurai is liquid ass. But then also the fact, too, that... They have to commit more summons to actually do their lines, which makes them more susceptible to Nibiru, and pretty much everybody and their mother is going to play Nibiru until the end of time. So, like, this deck is just hot garbage now. Like, there are so many better decks in the format that are worth playing besides Super Heavy Samurai. Like, they got to be good for a whole five minutes. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is Vanquish Soul. I hope I'm right on this. Um, if not, it might also be the new Horus stuff, but I'm going to assume that this is Vanquish Soul. If it is the new Horus stuff, then the Horus stuff would just go booty booty butt cheeks because that's too far out. But I'm just going to assume that this is Vanquish Soul. Vanquish Soul is very much rogue. If you know what you're doing and you take this to a regional, you're honestly going to have a good time. It's a very, very good deck. Like the fact that you can reveal different attributes to get different effects for your monsters. The boss monster in the deck is really good. It's a main deck boss monster, which is something that we don't see a lot in Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore besides like Elder Lich or something, but even then that's more rogue. So to see a deck like Vanquish Soul come out of Wild Survivor, even though it does have a bit of a price tag on it, it's cool to see that a deck like that out of the gate is doing well, and I think they're also getting more support down the line. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens over time with Vanquish Soul. I'm pretty sure this is... I want to say Nouvelles. I could be wrong. This could be like the Dogmatica ritual shit. Like I said, I don't know how to make tier lists here on, on a tier maker, so I just take other people's versions. Um, whether it's Nouvelles or the Dogmatica ritual deck, it goes in booty booty butt cheeks all the same. So here's the thing with the Nouvelles stuff. Yes, they're, get, they're getting new support, and I believe Age of Overlord. They're getting two new cards at the time you make this video before they show any other support, uh, any potential support that they may be getting. Um, the problem with Nouvelles, the deck is so cool. I actually really love the deck and concept, but it's so dog shit. It loses to Droll and it loses to Nib. So even if no one in the format right now is playing Droll, it auto loses to Nib, which pretty much everybody is playing. And the reason for that is because you have to commit so many summons to the board to do all of your Nouvelles ritual stuff to like actually like build a board i know that that sounds kind of idiotic and like i'm being repetitious but it's it's true you know nouvelles don't have an inherent weight in the gate stuff unless they're able to do like herald of or uh, not herald of arc like a uh, diviner of herald lines to like go into a baron before the fifth summon or on the fifth summon but like if you don't have that line available to you in your opening hand then you're basically just doing a bunch of summons and hoping that the opponent doesn't droll or nib you and i know a lot of people are going to probably say well avery droll's dead because super heavy samurai is not a thing Bruh, when I went to the Boca Raton Regional playing Sprite Purely, I got drolled once. And, like, the only reason why I was able to play through it was because I was playing Sprite with my Purely deck. So I was able to do other lines where I didn't just auto-lose to Droll like in a normal Purely deck. But Droll, I feel, is still going to be a thing. Similar to, like, how people are still playing fucking Gamma when it's at 1. Like, it's a Lux sack ass card, but, like, people are still going to play it anyway if they can fit it in because it's good. Uh, continuing on with that, <laughs> so... Uh, this we, we need to kind of talk about this real quick. Sprite, I feel, is still a tier one deck. If you're playing just straight purely, I feel that it's a tier two deck. Uh, if you're playing just a regular pure purely deck, 
and you're like blind going second. If you're playing purely sprite like your boy is, the self-appointed purely king, the deck is tier one. People don't know how to combat against purely sprite. When I took purely sprite to that regional and I came in 29th place, I very easily could have came in seventh if I would have played that game three a little bit better, I feel. But people, even though people knew what my cards did, they didn't know how to properly counter me. So like I would activate a purely quick play, they would ash me, and I'm like, okay, cool, starter. Now you've wasted your hand traps like you have no lines. Or like they'd imperm one of my sprite monsters. I'm like, okay, cool, summon out purely lily. And they're like, well, shit, I guess I'm gonna lose now because now you have purely lines. Like I would have people waste like two hand traps, like an ash and, and an imperm, and I would still have lines because I'm playing two engines. Like it's very disgusting in that regard. And sprite, of course, being tier one, because there's so many different ways to play sprite. I mean, it's, I'm not even going to go through all the lists. You've got, you know, Runic for hire and Achuria. Like, you've got all of these different things. Um, so I feel that Sprite, until it gets hit on another balance, is just a great consistent engine. Let's see. Let's jump around here a little bit. Um, who the fuck is playing Earthbox in 2023? No, like, please leave. <laughs> like, that, that's hot garbage. Flunder? If you know what you're doing it can get you like your your invite at a regional you won't get top eight but i feel like if you know what you're doing you can at least maybe squeeze in as like a rogue contender i really can't put it up much higher than that same thing goes for mana diem uh after monsters revenge um and after duelist nexus this deck gets a whole lot better and i think they also get more support in age of overlord this could be like the next tier element thing where it won't necessarily be tier zero but it'll start off at like tier one and then just progressively get better um, so definitely keep your eye on Mana Diem. That's that's going to be something interesting to see. Um, Sword Soul, I feel, is honestly rogue. Like, the new Synchro coming out in... Mon or not the new Synchro, but the new Tuner coming out in Monster's Revenge, I don't really feel like helps the deck a whole lot. And once we get Duelist Nexus, like, I feel like that this deck's just going to get pushed down from the potential Tier 2 that it's in right now down to Rogue. Like, eh, even when I played Sprite purely, like, Round 1, I played against my buddy who was actually playing Sword Soul... And, like, I, I too owed him. Like, granted, I was playing purely Sprite, so something a little bit differently. But, like, purely in general, I don't really feel like has any issues with Sword Soul. So, I feel like Sword Soul will always be a good, consistent engine, similar to how Gladiator Beast was back in the day. But I don't see it being a Tier 1 or Tier 2. Dragon Link, I feel, is just going to get even more better over time. It's it's a solid Tier 2 deck. Uh, Draco, who the fuck is playing Draco? Like, if you're the one dude in the room playing Pendulum, like, you do you, Sugar Boo Bear. Um... Branded? Yeah, it's a tier one deck. Unless you're playing against me with purely Sprite, I have a great fucking branded matchup. Like I've said before, if you want a good branded matchup, play purely Sprite. I'm telling you, you will not lose that matchup unless you just, for whatever reason, brick. Or you just don't know what you're doing. Uh, Plunder Patrol's booty booty butt cheeks. I'm sorry, but that, that deck is liquid ass. Virtual World is liquid dog water. Like, no, this deck's garbage. Tri Brigade fell off a long time ago. I don't know why you're playing Sprite Tri Brigade when there's so many better fucking versions of Sprite. <laughs> like, seriously. Obviously, Cash Tira is tier one. This hasn't changed a damn bit. This deck is still good. If you don't know what this deck does, you, you need to go study up on, on your cards. Because th this deck is still tier one. It's going to get hit harder on the next band. Let's guarantee it. Um, let's see here. Dark World is Rogue AF. You auto lose to Shifter to fucking Droll. I forgot to mention that too with uh, Hungry Burger, the deck, Nuvelas. Yeah, you auto lose to, to D Shifter. A lot of these decks auto lose to D Shifter. I mean, granted, like, they got to open up the D Shifter, but still, like, it hurts, man. Um, let's see. So, Dinos with their new support. <sighs> no, I can't put them in tier two. They're rogue as fuck. Um, the new support's cute. But I don't feel like it's enough to push them up into the Tier 1 or Tier 2 when the decks in Tier 1 and by extension Tier 2 are just so much better. Like, that that's not to say you can't do well. You can. But when, like, you're talking about, like, a YCS or Nationals, like, you're not going to see stuff like Dino and all that in the top tables. Like, you're just not going to. It, it can't last that long. That's what she said. Uh, tier element is tier, tier two. Uh, if you are the, the mill whisperer and you can just mill like a god, then yeah, good for you, sugar boo bear, but nah, it's, it's tier two. Um, does anyone even play Marincess anymore? Like, I feel like that this deck fell off a long time ago. Like, if your name's not Elijah Green, you're probably not playing Marincess. Mathmech is rogue AF. Circular getting hit to one, <laughs> if you negate that fuck, it's circular. <laughs> you have nothing to worry about with this matchup. It just becomes Mathmech pre-circular. Um, Sky Striker will forever be rogue. I don't care what anyone says. We're also getting the new, what is it? Sky Striker Iggy Azalea, as I like to call it, the Link Monster out of uh, Monster's Revenge. Yeah, this deck will forever be rogue, especially once it gets its new support. And if Engage comes to three, all oh, this this deck could easily become tier two. This deck will forever be rogue. Crystal Beast, unless your name is Neshi, then this deck is booty booty butt cheeks. I'm, I'm just being honest. 
Um, Heroes, shout out to my buddy Kevin at Locals, who will forever play Heroes. You know what, Kevin, just for you, I'm putting this in fucking Rogue. It's not going to get any higher than that, unless your name is Kevin. Um, Pure Runic is Rogue. If you're playing Sprite Runic, then yeah, sure, you can make the argument that it's Tier 1. But just Pure Runic? Nah, it's it's Rogue, pimp. You, you can squeeze in an invite from time to time. Uh, I say this on in pretty much every single tier list video. If you pay $25 for that DDD uh, combo spreadsheet, you wasted your fucking money. Because look, now the deck is in the booty booty butt sheet category. But hey, if you want to waste your money, Sugar Boo Bear, you waste your money. Those are the same people that say you got to play a max rarity deck for it to actually matter. <laughs> I'm going to get so much hate on this video. <laughs> uh, Rika. Rika's rogue. If you actually know what the cards do, then yeah, you do you. Um, Gold Pride straight. Gold Pride is trash, but uh, Punk Gold Pride is actually kind of rogue. Actually, no, I know. Punk Gold Pride I'll put in tier two. It, it's respectable for that because any deck that can make synchros, whether it's Gold Pride, Manatee, and whatever, is just going to move up in the tier list once we get Duelist Nexus, and they'll also be slightly better with the new tuner out of Monsters Revenge. Uh, Exo Sisters, Booty Booty Butt Cheeks, because tier element's bad. Changed my mind. Um, what is this? Like Attic Nister? Like, I guess with the new Synchro stuff, it becomes better, but no, ain't, ain't nobody playing this trash. Uh, Labyrinth is rogue AF. Uh, Eldelich? I feel like Eldelich is... I can't even put it in rogue. I feel like it's just booty booty butt cheeks now. Like, you hard lose to Shifter in the best deck in the room and Cash Tierra plays fucking Shifter. Like, I don't see Eldelich anymore. Like, yeah, it pops up from time to time, maybe like an OTS championship, but you're, you're not going to see it like a YCS or something. Like, no. Um... Trap Tricks is Rogue, yeah, like, you don't auto-lose to certain hand traps. Drytron, we'll put it in Rogue. I don't feel that it's Tier 2 anymore. I feel that the rest of the meta has just kind of really outpaced it, and because of that, it just can't keep up. Naturia's booty-booty ass cheeks now with the hits it's had uh, to uh, Sacred Tree. Adignister, like, why are you playing this when you can just play Math Mech and it's a better deck? Um, Salad, every, someone out there will always figure out how to whoop my ass with Salad. Salad is my Kryptonite. Um, still going to the booty booty butt cheeks category though, because it's not a full power. Yeah, so it's a bit lopsided. Again, this is post monsters revenge. Um, but I feel like until we get duels nexus or even like a new balance, like this is gonna be the format that we're in. Um, like super heavy is just not a thing anymore. Off the top of my head, I'm not seeing any decks here that I'm missing. Um. But just sort of at face value, this is, I think, everything that we got to worry about in the meta right now. So, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below about this tier list. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about a deck that's not on here, don't ask about Cyber Dragons. They're booty booty butt cheeks. Ain't nobody playing Cyber Dragon. <laughs> um, but, yeah, let me know down in the comments below if there's a deck that I'm missing that I'm just not thinking of at this point. And I'll be sure to reply as best I can, whether it's in the booty booty butt cheek category. Or you name a deck and you tell me where you think it goes. Maybe there's a deck that you haven't seen on here that you can put in the comments and say, it belongs in the booty booty ass cheat category with a big old boo-boo saying on it and i'll say yeah you right pimp you right sugar boo bear thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video